What's up, guys? It's such a um, My beat em up mixtape is um, is about to be completed right now, and um, it's all a new track listing, and I've got like 25, 26 beats I gotta sort out and whatnot. Um, there, uh, I think of, I don't even know how much I'm down to. I think I'm gonna be down to like 17 or 18, and it's gonna be out the 20th next month, and. Whoever wants me to download, holler at me on this YouTube video, message me, at me at Twitter, at underscore Zay, Z-A-Y, never dies. Um, or just go to my Facebook page or whatnot. Um, I'm going to be doing a little more promotion and everything. Um, this beat tape is versatility. Uh, that's the key. That's what I'm sticking with. It's something that I want to do, and I've had fun with it a lot. And um, that wasn't the theme before. I was more of a uh, trying to just get it out the way and push it out with future sound. I mean, a lot of you probably don't know that I dropped that already and whatnot. Future sound was more of an upbeat, futuristic type thing, and... Very little sampling and whatnot. Um, this one's going to be samples all over the place. It's extremely, extremely versatile. It's got old school songs, soul songs. Um, I think every beat's going to sound different. Um, there's, I've took it down to like Ellie Goulding. Yeah, I sampled her. I sampled Romstein on this one, which is a complete departure. And I made a little party beat out of Maroon 5. <laughs> it's it's insane, man. And it's all rap and whatnot. It's just showing my versatility. I'm trying to expand my audience and build everything up. And um, it takes a lot of character to do that. You know what I mean? Um... um yeah, I'm working it with a few other people, like my boy Reversal. I'm not sure y'all know who he is. I mean, if you're in the straight edge community like I am, you probably do know who exactly who I'm talking about. But um, I'm working with him. Uh, my boy Dwynell Rowland, putting Minnesota on the map. All us Midwest boys, we gotta do, we gotta do our thing. We gotta put everybody on top. <laughs> I mean, I might be stationed in Kentucky right now, but I'm Midwest of heart. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm ready to get the ball rolling, and 2013 is going to be a hot summer. It's going to be a cruel summer, and not talk about good music either, though. <laughs> um, just, uh, I'm just ready to... I don't know if y'all understand my excitement to give y'all this project or whatnot. Um probably been watching the new website sometime soon uh, if you can't download the actual beat tape I'm gonna have the entire beat tape on stream for you and you can stream it and you can download them individually if you want to uh, this is this is big for me you know and this is gonna be big for the community I guess um, Being the Michigan LP, which is six songs, I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna record that immediately. I don't, I don't have too much time to record over the summer, but uh, I'm gonna put my songs up. Uh, the first track is gonna be me and my boy T Top from Lexington out here, and um, it's gonna be called 1.5. And the theme of 1.5 is one god, half a human. That's 1.5. Like, you, long story short, you need God. You can take half the step, and God's gonna make you take the whole step to make you. <laughs> I can't even explain the word to do it, but um, it's a sick beat. I'm gonna drop that beat. I'm sure the beat's already. Oh yeah, I dropped that beat already. Whoops. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put that beat out and put that track out sometime over the summer. Record a video for it. Um, I'm just really excited for the direction of everything and how everything is gonna go. Um, subscribe to me here on YouTube. 
follow or follow my SoundCloud, or if you have Facebook and you're lazy to do all that type of stuff, you can go ahead and go to facebook.com slash subliminal x edge and it'll be up there um i'll be doing some shows in september october i'm gonna try to anyway i don't know it's gonna be hard to do it around the indiana kentucky michigan ohio areas but um, i'm sure there's gonna be i'm sure there's gonna be ways to do such um yeah don't mind the Chicago thing up here. Uh, I don't mind the Bears too much. It's just the Blackhawks. They've ruined my life lately. <laughs> um, I'm a Red Wings fan, if you all know. I'm super diehard about that team. And we're kicking a bucket right now. We are sucking. We are sucking bad right now. Like, we had a 3-1 to lead and it evaporated. I mean, the, I hate the Chicago Blackhawks, but credit to them. They're a great great phenomenal team and there's a reason why they were the best team in the NHL and the number one seed in the Western Conference. I like to lead the Western Conference with a bang but you know if it's not meant to happen it's not meant to happen I'm not gonna flip bricks over it you know what I'm saying um, I love my wings regardless but um, we're a young squad right now and we're ready to get the ball rolling in the Eastern Conference um, it's a painful thing to talk about for me, but you know, if we win Game Seven, we win Game Seven, we get to face the Sharks or the Kings. Uh, preferably, I want the Sharks because I I don't know. I want to measure revenge against them guys, but oh well. Uh, and baseball, Tigers. Um. <laughs> Just ready to get everything going, and I'm just way I'm way off topic with this now. I'm gone about spending my frustrations about the Detroit Red Wings, but um, I hope you all enjoy it, and thank you for listening and watching it and taking seven and a half minutes of your time to watch this asshole on tele on uh on your computer screen, almost a television. What's wrong with me? All right, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.